Hello, my name is Ralph Turciano. For those that do not know me, I've been behind blogs and a lot of news reports for more years than I can count. And plus the fact is too, I've also been in this industry for a long period of time, which is generally with health and anything regarding personal sovereignty, self-determination in regards to nutrition or nutraceuticals. So basically what I'm doing this video for primarily is let you know that the Fit and Healthy show is going to be on hiatus for a little while until we get a new idea on format, set, fresh ideas. It'll come back, but it's going to be a little while. Those that do not know what the Fit and Healthy TV show is, or, the other, or basically the blogs, you know I do a lot of reporting, I have a lot of knowledge accumulated, and a lot of data accumulated into huge archives over many, many years of things that basically most people wonder why never became popular. It was never in the news to begin with. And so if you go to a few of my sites, the YouTube sites, Fit and Healthy, you go to Health Research Reports, the newer ones, Engineering Evil, or if you got the newsletters from the Health uh, Research Synopsis over the years, you got some familiarization. But as time goes on, that's exactly what you're going to see. A lot of small data segments and news reports that have been passed over the years, and some current stuff too, being incorporated into these blogs and these videos. All right. But basically, too, you know my views. I'm a highly independent individual. Strongly believe in self-determination and the freedom for people to choose what health course they take. At the same time, though, I'm strongly in favor of people taking responsibility for their own health. So... I'm not a big fan of people controlling your health, but I'm a strong proponent of you controlling your own health. Negative, if you want to take the consequences into hand, not basically taking care of yourself on your own, that's your choice. As long as you don't expect someone else who is taking care of themselves to basically take care of you for generally your setbacks. Just like I wouldn't expect anybody to take care of me for my setbacks. But things which are my responsibility. It's not about being a burden to another person. But to back that up, there's always going to be exceptions, but that's my views. What I'm going to be leading to, as long as the Fit and Healthy show is out of production for a little while until it gets, uh, how would you say, rebooted or reconstructed, is I'm going to be doing three to four minute segments on new health items that come up. I know there's a lot of things I'm involved in, from politics to military to basically environmental things, the whole lineup, viruses, vaccines, tons of things. But the news reports that I want to do are going to be specific to basically two categories, pharmaceutical and nutraceutical. Later on, I could always expand it, but for now, those are the two categories I'm going to go into when I start releasing these new videos. Otherwise, I appreciate you listening. I wanted to give you a little bit of my prejudices and biases ahead of time before I start posting any of these videos, so you know exactly how I think a little bit in regards to people's own ideas of what direction they should control their own health or take their health into. I'm a big, big, big proponent of data sharing and a big, 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 big proponent of basically freedom of choice when it comes to your health. Well, the phone's ringing. I have to answer it. Thank you very much for listening, and let's proceed forward.